Hello, this is Cyprian from FEF Hall, and today's video we'll talk again about Fortran, and I'll I'll show you how to do a, a loop. So very simple, uh, and I'll get right to the point. So I'm already uh, inside my folder where I have my Fortran projects. So let's go and create a new loop. Dot f ninety five Fortran file. Okay. Uh, and to have a loop, well, first of all, I'll give a name to my program. Program, let's call it just loop. Right. And as usual, I have to close my program like that. Uh, first step is to use uh, implicit non. So uh, this is to, uh, to verify the declaration of variable. So second step, declare the variables. So I will have a variable to for the loop, so it uh, will be an integer. Uh, so integer, and uh, as traditionally, well, we call uh, we call it i. So I will just call it i. Uh, and I'll do something really really simple. So we'll st let's start away with the loop. So a uh, loop in Fortran. Are uh, written like that. You have to use a do, uh, and then you have to use the condition of the loop y, so i, which is the the counter, equal uh, where the counter will start, so zero. Then you use a comma, and the end of uh, the list. So let's let's say I want to pr let's say I will print out uh, those uh, from zero to twenty. And then you need a then and and do after that. And in between will go uh, well the instructions that we, you want to do inside your loop. So what I will do is that I will print uh, my value i of my counter. Uh, so that's it. So let's save it. Let's open uh, the terminal and let's. Uh, so I could have opened it into second window. Yep. So I'll just uh, open again my file. Right. So now it's on the right. Anyway. Okay. Uh, and let's use G Fortran to compile my file. So let's call the compiled file loop. Uh, the executable and my file to compile is loop.f95. Okay, so now I have an error. So syntax error in do statement. Um, okay, so I think I did something slightly uh, not how it should be done. So let me so pop pop pop. Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, sorry, there is no then. This is uh, not the if loop. So that's all, basically. Uh, there is no then. So let's do it again. Let's compute that again. Okay, now it works. Uh, and let's launch for executable. And it works. So we have a list uh, from 0 to 20. Uh, okay, uh, now there's something else we can do. So we can change a bit the, the, the way it counts inside the loop. So we, um, for example, you can count here, it counts from 0 to 20, but if you want to count, uh, well, only the even numbers, for example, so you can put a 2. And let's, let's take a look at what it, this does, actually. So so basically, if we execute again, we compile again the code, and we launch again the script, now you see that it will only uh, go through the loop from 0 to 20, so from 2 uh, to 2 values. Um, now, what, now what you can do also is that you can actually decrease uh, the values inside. So, for example, if I'm going from 10 to um, to minus 10, uh, 
so I'm going backward. Uh, I can use a minus two step here, and um, and so if I compile again, now you see that it goes from ten to minus ten uh, by decrementing the loop. Okay, so uh, that's pretty uh, everything I wanted to, to show you during this video, simply how to make a loop in Fortran. Thank you for watching. So if you're on YouTube, you'll probably find the link to the article and the next videos inside the description. Otherwise, you can go on my blog fe4all.com uh, and click in the category open source FEA and you'll find all the articles I wrote about uh, open source FEA and the previous videos inside this category. So thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a lot and that you will learn a lot using all the videos that I am sharing on my blog. So if you like those videos, please help me to share them with your friends and other engineers. And also please let me know what you think in the comments. It's always great to have some kind of feedback and if you have some ideas of things you would like to learn or do with FEA, please also let me know. Thank you for watching again.